Trent and Dove is committed to investing in the health, well-being, community and social fabric that allows our customers to thrive in their homes and communities. We're working hard to make sure that no customer suffers from the effects of damp and mould could have in their homes. As part of this, we take reports of damp and mould very seriously and we respond quickly. You can speak to any Trent and Dove colleague about any concerns that you may have. My name's Karen Tier and I'm on the Trent and Dove Customer Committee. The Customer Committee is there because there was a need for Trent and Dove to really understand what a tenant needs and they've been doing more and more work with the Louder Stronger which is the customer voice being heard so that they are not just just our landlords and it's been a really, really good programme. If a customer spots any damp or mould, then I would ask you to get in contact with Trent and Dove um, and report it. That's your first step, really. If you watch this film all in entirety, there should be many, many tips and guidelines to help you deal with that damp and mould. At the end of this film, there will be all the contact details that you need to report the damp and mould to Trent and Dove. Be our eyes and ears. Spotted damp and mould? Tell us about it. The most common cause of damp and mould in our home is from condensation. Condensation is caused when water droplets in warm, moist air make contact with a colder surface like a window, an external wall, pipework, and you've probably seen it in your bathroom mirror. Condensation is caused by everyday activities like washing, cooking, cleaning, taking a bath or a shower. As long as the condensation clears up quickly, it's not normally a problem. But if it's left, it can lead to damp and mould, which can be a problem in your home. There are some simple and effective steps that you can take to prevent or reduce condensation from appearing in your home. Close doors to prevent moist air from spreading throughout your home and to prevent heat from escaping. Leave the heating on low at all times in cold weather even in rooms that you don't use regularly. Dry your washing outdoors, or if you're using a tumble dryer, make sure it's vented to the outdoors or is a self-condensing type of tumble dryer. If you do have to dry your washing indoors, please keep it to one room with the window open and the door closed. Use a lid when you're cooking. This will reduce heat from escaping, reduce the condensation in your room, the food will cook quicker and it will cost you less. Keep a window or vent open when there's condensation or moisture in the room. You only have to open the window slightly to prevent the condensation from forming. Increase ventilation when bathing, washing or cooking by opening a window slightly or by using extractor fans. Keep the window open and any extraction fans on while you're showering and for a few minutes afterwards until the condensation is cleared. If you've got tiles or a shower screen, use a sponge or a squeegee to wipe them down afterwards. That will reduce the condensation and it'll take away those annoying streaks. Allow space for air to circulate around your furniture. Open your cupboard and wardrobe doors to keep them ventilated and to allow air to circulate. And where you can, try to position freestanding wardrobes or cupboards on an internal wall rather than an external wall which will be colder and more likely to attract condensation. It's also really important to not block off any vents or turn off any mechanical ventilation such as extractor fans or PIVs, positive input ventilation. Turning these off prevents them from working and could allow damp and mould to form in your home. To prevent damp and mould from occurring, wipe down your surfaces to prevent condensation. If damp and mould does occur, you can usually clean this off with an antifungal spray like this one which can be purchased from a DIY or hardware store or even some supermarkets. The process usually involves spraying the substance on, leaving for a few minutes and then wiping clean. Please always follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Sometimes damp and mould can be caused by more serious problems like leaks from pipes, roofs, windows and guttering, moisture seeping through the walls or rising damp. If you suspect this may be the case in your home, please let us know straight away so that we can investigate and put it right. We take reports of damp and mould very seriously. If you spot signs of damp and mould in your home, please tell us straight away, even if you think the problem is only small. Be our eyes and ears. Spotted damp and mould, 
tell us about it. You can speak to any Trenton Dove colleague about any concerns that you may have. Please contact us in any of the following ways. Find us on the internet at trentandove.org, Facebook at Trent and Dove, email inquiries at trentandove.org. You can call us on 01283 528 528 or you can visit the Trent and Dove offices at Trinity Square, Horninglow Street, Burton-on-Trent. But please check the website for our current office opening hours before you travel. <laughs>